All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video in this 30-day video challenge in September. Uh, today, I'm answering the question that, that I've seen a bunch in the comments, specifically on older videos. One, how to use side imaging. Two, what is the actual distance side imaging is showing you? So that's what we're gonna break down in this video. Let's get into it. So first, let's talk about what side imaging is. Side imaging basically takes your down imaging and then also has a layer of left and right of your boat. So th this middle part, we're in pretty shallow water right now. So it's a little bit tricky to pick out, but um, this black part between the main line running through the main part of the screen here and the hard gold part of the screen, that is actually directly below my boat. It's pretty small because we're only about five feet of water right now. Um, and then everything left and right of that is actually the lake bottom or the river bottom that we're on right now from directly below the boat. So basically your sonar, your transducer sends down a beam which reads directly low, below your boat, that reads the water column, and then it sweeps left and sweeps right to give you a picture of the lake bottom or the river bottom. Whenever you're trying to calculate how far away an object is from you, the best guess, you have to subtract what that black part in the middle is. So your boat is actually at the very top center of the screen. That is where my transducer is in real time. Everything going from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen is historical data. So to find the distance of, let's say, this log right here, let's see if we can zoom in, this log right here, find that distance away, you're gonna take, it looks like my, now a lot of these units actually have grid markers, so 25.2 feet. Now that is 25.2 feet from the center line of my transducer, but I gotta subtract that 5.8 foot from straight below the boat. So reality, it's, it's like 20 feet away from the boat, that little log, 25 minus five. So there is one more question when it comes to distance of how far behind something is. And the, tr the tricky part about that is at certain points, your boat might be going two miles an hour, your boat might be going five miles an hour. And for the system to actually calculate, like it's telling me this is Oh, there's usually a, yeah, so it's telling me in the top left corner, it says 222 feet. How accurate that is, I'm not really sure. Um, typically what I would do is I'd throw a waypoint down if I was fishing something, I'd circle back over the top of it um, and then throw a buoy marker. And that's how I'd be very accurate with trying to cast at something or trying to fish something like a tree, rock pile or brush pile. Uh, but that's how I would use side imaging. I would not try to cast at an object unless I knew I was going a specific speed and I had pretty good confidence that, you know, it's right there. I, I wouldn't try to cast at it. I would try to circle back, find the object again, um, and then set a waypoint or throw a buoy marker out to catch the fish. We're going to get a little bit deeper water here and, and uh, hopefully find some schools of bait fish, um, hopefully some crappie, but most likely a lot of junk fish, some walleye, gonna go fish a bridge. Um, but you can see there are a bunch of junk fish. Typically this part of the river has got a ton of carp and sheephead in it. So there could be walleye up shallow right here. Uh, typically the crappie are gonna be on, on the docks in this part of the river. But I'm hoping by the bridge we'll find some schools stacked up. So let's take this little See that log? It's a very itty bitty log right there. If I'm lining up my numbers on the bottom of my screen, now some of you might have numbers on the top of your screen, but if I'm lining them up, I'm getting roughly 18 feet away from my transducer, but I still have to subtract out the total depth. So in reality, that's only about 12 feet to the left of my transducer. Now, if that image showed up directly on the top, see that log right here? Showed up directly to the left of the top of the screen, that image is now directly in line with my transducer. As it goes backwards or down towards the bottom of the screen, that image is further behind my boat. Another question I get is, once you drive over them, how do you find them again? Typically, you gotta throw down a waypoint, um, and usually you're trying to drive over them three or four times. Hopefully you don't have to do that. Like if you got a tree or a lay down or a brush pile, um, using not just side imaging, but your down imaging or 2D sonar, and then either throw a waypoint down, spot lock, or you throw a marker buoy down and you can fish that marker buoy. 
The top center of the screen is where your boat is. That's where your transducer is sending the beam down. We're gonna hit a sandbar here, hold on. And then once it sends a signal down and it hits the river bottom or the lake bottom, it sweeps to the left and sweeps to the right, creating a side image or a image of the river bottom or the lake bottom. Uh, cool thing about the river systems, you can see the sand ripples. Let's see if we can, uh, let's zoom in here. So let's see these sand ripples right here. That's current building up these little sand ripples. And ooh, there's a fish. There's a itty bitty fish right there. You can barely see it. Um, there's a fish right here. See the shadow? These are just some smaller fish. I, nothing I really want to chase after today. But the, the cool thing about side imaging, it gives you a layout of the structure, not only the, the cover, like the trees and the brush piles and rock piles, but it gives you an idea of how the structure, the lake contours are kind of laid out, or the, in this case, the river contours. Um, so I strongly suggest if you do want to get a fish finder, because this is a question that always pops up. If I got a fish finder at 300 bucks, 500 bucks, whatever it is, maybe you got more, get something with side imaging. Even if it's a used unit, two, three, four, five years old, get something with side imaging. You're gonna be very happy because you're gonna be able to cover a ton of water. You can see I, I got my side imaging 70 foot left and right right now. Um, but you're gonna be able to cover a ton of water, find those rock piles, brush piles, and get on those fish a lot easier. Uh, one other thing, because I know people are gonna ask, like how does the zoom function work? On any of the Garmin units that are touch screens, you just basically pinch the screen like you would on your smartphone using Google Maps or something. And you can actually zoom in and out just like that. Um, if you don't have a touch screen, you can go to your options menu and under the zoom function, you can click zoom um, and then you can change up your, how, how zoomed in you are, the magnify option. You can zoom in six times to 1.1 times, so. Yeah, I usually just leave it off and then I just use my fingers to zoom in and out. Well, as you guys saw, as we go under that bridge, um, there's a bunch of other fishermen there, so I didn't really want to disturb them. But as you went under the bridge, you could see the big bridge piling on both the left and right side of the screen. I went through a couple times, just drawing the crankbait. Um, there's actually quite a few walleye fishermen right there right now, so didn't want to didn't want to anger them, didn't want to get in their way. But right now, you see on the screen, 10 feet of water. There are bait fish. There's some weed lines starting in probably like three, four, five foot of water. But to judge how far away that weed line is, so it's about 60 foot from my center line, but then I got to subtract out how deep it is, which is about nine, 10 feet. So it's really about 50 feet away. Um, that's the edge of those weeds. Because that was the biggest question that came up a bunch of how to find the distance away from something. Now, again, as like you see the school of bait fish, big school of shad right there or shiners or something as that those schools of bait fish go to the bottom of the screen they are further behind the boat um, how do you find them if you were to like if I were to throw a waypoint on them I don't want to magnify it. I just want to throw a waypoint on it if I were to throw a waypoint and then I could circle back to that waypoint try to troll through them again get them underneath the boat um, otherwise you're just trying to get as close to that waypoint as possible it's hard to find moving fish like that typically it's a lot easier if you're throwing waypoints on fixed pieces of cover bridge pilings dock pilings um, submerged cover like rocks trees brush piles it's a lot harder to find moving bait fish schools like that uh, without some sort of forward looking sonar unless you just have your trolling motor or you're just sitting in deeper water right on top of them uh, but this is how I set up side imaging, and that was the answer to the question of how do you find the distance away left and right an object is, and uh, why the black screen is there. So that is going to wrap it up. We actually have some storm clouds coming in, and uh, all I got today is a trolling motor because this guy right here, yeah, that spun the prop last week. Hopefully going to get it in this week. Um, probably, yeah, by the time you're watching this, this will probably be fixed, and I'll be ready to go again, get this boat back up on plane. But appreciate you watching as always. If you have any comments or questions, post them in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. 
I always appreciate hearing from you. Good luck on the water this fall. Use your side imaging, find a bunch of crappie, put them in the boat. We'll see you.